Grandma wasn't going to go to the auction. Now she was 14 whenever he asked her to marry him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Jeez. I got a wedding picture somewhere. Really? Uh, I Jesus. said she looked like she just came out of a halo. But and she still had straw in her hair. Oh. I said, you all know, look like you just got out of the halo. That's our wedding picture. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, you sl oh, so you slow devil. Grandpa's family, they, they were going to sell it and split up the money. Uh -huh. He had 12 brothers and sisters. Right, 13 total. Mm -hmm. So... Anyway, Grandma said no, she wasn't going to the auction. Aunt Bertha stopped by and brought Grandma with her. She said, you're going to that auction. And anyway, they went. So she went up and told Grandpa when they got there. He wanted to know because if not, he was going to let them sell it. He had his stuff nailed up in the back bedroom, like his bedroll, because he knew his family would take every little piece of it. So he would have his safety net back there ready to go. That would be the old sewing room now that Grandma had. I was wondering that. That would be Grandma Minnie's room with the feather bed. Yeah, in gotcha. the back corner. Yeah. So she went up and said she guessed she would marry. So they kept the 20 acres with the farm and they bought back a stove that had a big hole in it they fixed with a disc. And One of the round discs? A couple of chickens. Really? And when they got married, Grandma, the husband of the bride, would give you his best cow or two Like pigs. a dowry. Right. That was what you got when you got married then. So they got the cow, and it up changes. here, up here, a zent on this place at the top of the hill. Uh huh. That was the first property that they bought, and that guy had watched them working over there, clearing the bean sprouts and stuff. Or no, they were persimmon trees they cut out to make room for the peas they planted for the corn or for the horses to the winter instead of corn. Really? Yeah, they had like wild peas or something that they harvest. Huh, yeah, because you still had to feed the horses and yeah, okay. Wow. So when they did this, this guy he wanted to go out west. That's when the gold rush started. Mm. And he needed a hundred dollars And he ended up taking Grandma's cow because somebody would buy the cow from him. So they traded a cow and a hundred dollars for the first forty acres. Wow! That's where we grew up as kids. Up here. I know, I know, I know. I love that. I I remember as a kid, you guys dynamiting that one great big tree down in the middle. Remember Aunt Carrie, Uncle Jimmy was there, me, you, everybody, and they dynamited that. And yeah, we used to do that a lot. Yeah, and the last word was said was run, and I remember all of us running up towards the house and stuff, and I remember Aunt Carrie was kind of lagging behind a little bit, and I was really worried about Aunt Carrie and them, and that tree just went boom. Do you remember that? Yeah. Oh, wow. I remember, I remember. a big stump landing on Grandpa's Buick. It was the end of the car. No, I wasn't there for that. I mean, this was the that last... That was behind the chicken house. Up big here. tree, man. Wow. And so, <sighs> during this time, Grandpa's sister, Clyde, had was going to move to California. She taught school here. He drove her back and forth to school in a car she bought new. And she couldn't drive it, so Grandpa drove her back and forth. And when she went to California, she gave them the car. The other guy didn't she think she was going to need one? Oh, there wasn't a, the there wasn't a, acres a, a system, at. right? There wasn't a driving system too much. It was kind of like really bad. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, I get why you didn't take the car. All right. Yeah, it was a one of the first cars. Right. right? It, was, it was still was, Buffalo Trails, right? Yeah. Okay, I get it, right? Okay. And now over there, the first 40 acres over there, across yes. the road. That guy had seen them taking care of what they got already, and he wanted to go to California. He wanted the car and $100. You well, are Grandpa didn't me. have another $100, so... 
So he went to the bank in Frisco, and he didn't have anything to show other than he'd been putting gas in his school bus because the government said they would pay him back one day. If they could get the kids back and forth to school for a summer or two. And he said, and you know they did pay us back. He was pretty impressed that they'd done something but from the said, government that worked they, out right. A plus interest, I'm sure. So they went to the bank and they loaned him that money on his word. So he always said, you're only as good as your word. That's how they got the other 48. So really it was a cow and a hundred dollars and an old car that was given to him at $100. Because they took care of what they had, you know, and they just... People noticed it, I suppose. That Zint guy owned all that across from my grandsons. Really? Almost to Karen and George. We used to farm all that. There's a big... Uh, it's probably a pond now, but it was a lake back then. Do you know the pond behind Uncle Jimmy's house? Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know if you've seen it or looked at it or Google Earthed it lately. That thing, I'm telling you, it's four times the size of what it was. That guy has it clear across the back of his house. Have you seen it? No, I haven't. Not since I did all that. Oh, wow. Wow. I like to go up and introduce myself. And you say it's somebody's grandson? No, the the guy that lived there now, yes, Justin Morgan was there. Morgan. Oh, I saw Ray's tombstone. I saw the dude Eric. Still Is this said, picture on his? Yeah. Somebody told me he had a picture. On yeah. Him. Yeah, we were in the same grade at school. Uh, uh. Now, where's who's Jan? Isn't Ray Jan's? Dad? No, that was Harold. Oh, Harold. The great big Harold. Oh, okay. Great big, All right. like six five. Uh, I, big I just I knew Ray. Well, Harold was married to. Uh, her name Geneva. Oh no, she's really a good lady. He's pretty mean when he got there. Do they live uh, back behind Grandma Alma's house? They live out. Uh, Uh, who was I talking about? Minnie, behind Minnie's house. There was Orville in Geneva, somebody. Geneva and Orville, I remember. The Alcorn. Alcorn. Yeah. Are we related to them? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I saw their grave last night. On Ray's tombstone? That's who Grandpa and him went out west with. Really? On uh, Ray's tombstone, it has a, an aerial photo of his old farm. Yeah, it's not there anymore. No, I saw that. It was very depressing. So whenever I saw the photo of the it's phone... It's I-69. I know, right? Uh, when I saw the photo on the thing, I was just really impressed. Because it was, it was very detailed, very high up. I and mean, it was awesome. It was nice. It was. Jan died this past year. Really? You know, he was married to Connie's sister. He beat on her all the time. Jan... Yeah, maybe that's how you might know Connie a little bit. Let's see, her, her, her sister's name was, um... Dang Get it. out of my cinnamon bun. Look at that little piece. I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, this little piece. But anyway, that's Jan's kids. Uh-uh. Huh? Jan, uh -uh. huh? I have this little piece. Jan's kids and care. Connie's sister, that's her kids, too. So when you see Jan... But you or, can't have the whole thing. <laughs> I mean, I can't eat. It's, it's too much. It's rich. This is different. <laughs> it's rich. She finally calmed down a little bit, didn't she? Yeah, people are here. Yeah, she does. That's what she does. She, just, she gets excited when people come in. This dog's definitely a people dog. That's why she likes to ride in parking lots and stuff. She entertains herself with the 
audience of people would go by. Yeah.